name is Kaya and today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me video. I figured it's been a while since I've talked to you guys so I figured we should catch up a little bit, huh? First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this serum on my face real quick. Make it look like I cried. How have you been? It's been a long time. I moved and life has been great. I just haven't been doing the things I need to be doing like YouTube and stuff but I'm back now doing better than ever and I'm so excited to figure out how I'm gonna film in my new space. There's not really a good spot for me to film but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Well, I'm sure we will. I dyed my hair a few days ago and it has been so nice. And it's been a long time since I've done my hair. I just kind of left it alone. During the whole break from YouTube, I didn't do anything to my hair. Did my makeup like three times maybe. So it's good to be back. It's good to feel like myself again. So, how's it going? Are you uh, having a good day so far? Hopefully you are. If you're not, hopefully it gets a little bit better. My day has been uneventful really. I haven't really done much today. I wanted to fill in my eyebrows differently but I couldn't find the stuff I used to fill them in so I'm just gonna do it the old school way today. Okay, bye. Oh my god. They kind of look bushy. One eyebrow on, one eyebrow off. Looks kind of creepy, huh? Let's fix that real quick. I don't know why but I have a really hard time talking when I do my eyebrows because they end up looking creepy if I talk. Sometimes they look creepy no matter what. But I can only do so much. Some days they're not on my side, like today. They can just be that kind of day. I'm leaving them at that. They look ridiculous. Oh my goodness. It's okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Just trust the process. Now I'm going to put my foundation on. How exciting. I have been doing the most random things that I never thought I would have ever done in my life. Like, my boyfriend took me fishing for the first time, and it was pretty fun, actually. We went catfishing and I caught myself a catfish, which was super cool. I never thought that I would enjoy that, but I did. Definitely did. It was a lot of fun. Just kind of been trying to settle in a little bit. Moving all the way states away from my mom and stuff has been kind of tough. It's been making me a little sad here and there. You know, I'm getting a little homesick. It's okay. I can visit her whenever I have to make the trip, which is a lot, but that's okay because I love her and it's worth it. I'm thinking maybe I could do some vlogging type videos now that I live kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It'd be kind of cool to show you guys the adjustment from, you know, a city living dweller to a country dweller now. Now I'm living in the, the cut, I guess. Is that what you could call it? There's like less than 200 people in my town. It's kind of crazy, but I'm not renting a house anymore, or I'm not renting an apartment anymore. We have a house, which is fucking fantastic. It's kind of nice to have a home and not have to like worry about anything, really. My place is secured, which is nice because the last time that you and I had talked, I lived in an apartment and my landlord kind of like just kicked me out out of nowhere. And then the funny part is, how funny is this, okay? After I got kicked out and all my neighbors were saying it was because of me, blah, 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 this and that, everyone got kicked out. So karma's a bitch. So how about you, you know the whole story before you start assuming stuff next time, people? It wasn't me. Those apartments were shitty and uh, they're renovating them right now. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool everyone got kicked out and they all had to restart just like I did because it was, I hated everybody that I lived next to, okay? They were all out. Nobody was cool. None of them were cool. So it's nice to live in a new area where all my neighbors are cool. I don't know, the people are nice here. Not nice in the aspect of like overly nice, but like people really don't give a fuck about what you're doing as long as you're not hurting them. Which, that's how it should be everywhere, but whatever. I have no idea. It's been a crazy past few months for me. So much has changed in better and worse ways. Well, I guess not the only worse way it's been is that I'm not around my mom anymore and that's been kind of tough. I've always been with my mom my whole entire life, obviously, because my mom, I don't know, living states away. I'm like 10 hours away from my mom right now. That kind of sucks. Makes me feel bad because I know she wants me close and I love her so much and I would love to be close, but I can't be. There's things I want to do and places I want to see and people that I would like to be with because... Although, like, living with near my mom like I was before was nice, I was always alone, and so it's nice to usually, like, now, like, right now, I have some alone time because my boyfriend is at work, but usually I'm never alone, and it's pretty 
be nice because I don't like to be alone. I do in my own time. Like when I want to be alone is great, but if I don't want to be alone and I'm alone, <gasps> oh, that shit sucks. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. I don't know anything. Life is crazy. Every single day I wake up and just live a new day. And it's kind of nice. I don't work at my old job anymore, which kind of sucks. I miss that place a lot. I ran my mom's thrift store and with me moving away, I had to close that place down, which freaking sucks. I loved that job. So moving hasn't been all that great, but it has been plenty of ways that outweigh the bad. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like it's been awesome. It's been really nice to experience some change in my life. I think that this place will be a really good, like, I don't know, a really good start to my foundation. And I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to fix up this house and make everything super duper awesome. I've been experimenting ways to do my contour on my nose just every single time I change it up. It's so confusing. I don't know how to make it look good. Some days it looks great and the other days I'm like, it doesn't look like there's anything there, so <laughs> whatever. I don't know, life has been pretty good. It's been nice to experience so many different things. It rained here on the 4th of July and it was like really cool because instead of having natural or instead of having fireworks, we had natural fireworks and there was like a really bad thunderstorm and it was beautiful. It was so cool. I think that I'm, I'm excited where life is going. I'm excited for everything that's happened and everything that's going to happen and all of the things. So much, so much that I have to talk about and I don't know where to start. I have four dogs and two cats and i've had three dogs since i've been on youtube but my boyfriend had a dog and two cats and so now we have six animals combined so that's been fun i'm sure you heard the cat in the video yesterday but sometimes they're just all loud and i'm not going to be able to quiet them down so this is your warning i don't know i'm feeling very good very confident about everything that's been going on confident about my life decision to move away from my mom because I could have stayed where I was, but I decided, you know what, I'm ready to, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to, to start my life. And oh my gosh, I recommend if you guys have something that you want to do and you put some time and energy and thought into it and you really decide that that's something you want to do, do it. Even though you're going to hurt some people's feelings, even though you're going to maybe make some people unhappy, do what you want to do because life is short. And I'll tell you what, I was pretty miserable where I was before, and nowadays, I'm just happy. I'm just freaking happy. And it's, pre it's pretty nice to be happy. I feel like it's been a little too long since I felt happy, and that's sad. You know, everybody deserves to feel happy. That's probably my best advice. If there's anything that would make you happier in the situation that you're in, just fucking do it. Rip the band-aid off. Do it, man. Just do it, because... We're not always promised another day tomorrow, and you want to make sure that you live to the fullest extent. You live to do whatever it is that you wanted to do on this earth. And I know that sounds silly because I moved in with my boyfriend across the country, but before I had decided to do that, I was so sad and so, I felt so alone. And I haven't felt that way since I moved here, and it's pretty awesome to feel like a new person again, to feel like I'm actually happy instead of just getting by on the daily day, day to day basis. I'm actually happy, which is something I'm really proud of. I'm very proud of myself for doing this for myself. I definitely didn't expect it. I didn't expect to do this. I expected to chicken out and to just keep living how I was living and I surprised myself and I woke up. Oh, a lot in the beginning of the first few weeks just like kind of in shock that I, I really did it and I was here and it was just a really nice it was a really nice moment to experience with myself if you're taking anything away from this video today you're taking away the fact that you do what you want to do to be happy and you don't let anybody else tell you otherwise unless you're hurting people if you're hurting people then I'm sorry you just don't get to be happy <laughs> I'm just, I'm excited. I wake up every single day so excited, and that's how you should feel every single day you wake up. If you don't feel that way right now, as we're talking, I want you to figure out what you need to change and change it. Figure out what it is that you really want and go for it, my dear. The only person that's going to make you achieve what you want to achieve is you, baby.
I hate mascara sometimes. Most of the time. There's very, very slim times where I like mascara. And what now is not one of them. Oh my god. I hate it. I just hate it. Hate it. Ignore how crazy my hair looks. That's tomorrow's video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I am going to get this hair wet and prepare for tomorrow's little adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, stay rad. Don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun. And you guys, have an amazing day.